Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to set up SMTP relay in office 365 so let's get started so to be able to set up emails via SMTP relay or any other application be it a printer scanner or a third party website you will need few settings which you can use to configure in your device uh, Microsoft do have its own settings uh, you can search it online itself and you can search it as SMTP Relay Office 365 and uh, you will get this document how to set up multifunction device or application to send emails and basically it has three options to be able to send out emails via other applications or a website or even a relay so uh, the first option basically states uh, about SMTP client authentication it does require you to have a mailbox with a license and uh, the mailbox should not have multi-factor authentication turned on you can see we have SMTP auth client submission uh, it is used to send emails internal and external as well so if you need external uh, people to receive your emails uh, you can use this method and it is pretty simple as well you just have to enter the server port number uh, you can use port number 587 or mostly use port 25 and then use the encryption and TLS star TLS to be enabled and then you can use the account which does not have MFA but has a license assigned to it for having a mailbox so once you do that you should be able to uh, set it up however sometimes we have issues with uh, setting up SMTP client submission and um, the other option is uh, direct send that is basically for for you to be able to send it to people which is internal to your organization Plus, uh, it does support multi-factor authentication, but uh, it is better that you choose an account or create an account for this specific purpose to be without MFA. Um, you can use direct send as well, but uh, if you need to send emails to someone which is internal as well as external to the organization, uh, the best method is either option one or the third option, which is SMTP relay. Direction also uses the MX record to be able to send out emails as well. And the last method which we can use to send out emails is SMTP relay. This is basically the most efficient way to send out emails to someone internal and external to the organization. Um, it basically requires you to have your MX record and your port 25 to be open and um, for you to be able to set up SMTP relay you just have to enter your MX record uh, in the device or this website where you have the settings and uh, enter the port to be used to be 25 and TLS star TLS to be enabled and make sure that you have SMTP authentication turned off and once you have that set up uh, you just have to provide a alias it does not have to be a mailbox or to have a license assigned to it or even exist on your tenant uh, you can just use any alias but it has to be with the domain which you are using to send out emails from and which you have the MX of so once you have that you can use all this option to configure once you have this information put it into the device uh, you will basically need a connector the connector uh, will basically work from your organization server so you can go to exchange admin center let me just show you that as well right once we are in the exchange admin center you just have to go to mailflow to create the connector and then under connectors and once we are here we will just create one connector by clicking on the plus sign here and select from your organization's email server 
to your office 365 and then hit next and you can name it anything and this can be as it is you can hit next and then uh, you will need the IP address this is basically the important step to receive email to your exchange online so for you to know the IP address where you have the application uh, you just have to open the browser and type in what's my IP and once you hit enter you will get the IP address which is basically your public IP address and it is basically a static IP address so you will need a static public IP address to be able to enter here and once you have it you can just click on the plus sign and add it here and click ok once done you can hit next it will show you all the settings which you have before configuring and then you can click confirm to configure the connector once you have it configured uh, and you have all the settings which we have here uh, you will be able to receive email once you test it uh, with the device or the scanner or the printer or or even a website it does have one more additional step to be able uh, to enter the same IP address which we just found in your uh, SPF record so uh, when you go ahead and send it to the external recipient you will see this email landing into their inbox and not into the junk so that is the important step as well when you are wishing to send emails to someone external but if you don't want to do uh, if you don't want to send emails to someone external you can skip this step as well only the connectors is needed so the option 3 and option 1 the difference between the option 3 and option 1 is that option 1 does not want you to create the connector and uh, even though your device static IP addresses changes all the time you don't have to update it on the connector or on the SPF record so you can choose between either of them and plus the first option requires you to have a license to it while the third option does not require to do so so you can choose whatever suits you the best even when you want email to be sent to someone internal you can use the SMTP relay that is the option third or the option one it need not have to be sent to external you can use it only for internal as well so do let me know guys how it goes for you if you have any question you can drop it in the comment as well till then you have a nice day bye bye